We continue now at the top of Daf Chof Beis Amin Aleph and Maseches Nedarim. This is Nedarim Daf Twenty Two A. And the previous Amr, a mother came before Rabbi Yochanan and she had put a neder on her daughter that she wanted to undo. And so Rabbi Yochanan said, "Had you known that the neighbors would say Ilu Lochama Ba'ima Milan Daziva, if the if her mother, the neighbors were saying about the daughter, the neighbors were saying that if the, her mother had not seen things that were inappropriate, Bichdilo Adarta, she wouldn't put a neder on her own daughter for nothing. In other words, when the neighbors saw that the mother put a neder on her own daughter, so the neighbors started to say bad things about the uh, daughter. So Rabbi Yochanan said to the mother, Mia Darta, had you known that that was going to happen with the neighbors, would you have made the neder? Um, Amr she said to him, Lo, no, I would not have made the neder. Vishari, and therefore he permitted the neder. And the Gemara continues, Bar Barate de Rabbi Yanai Saba, the son of the daughter of Rabbi Yanai Saba, meaning his grandson, Asla Kami de Rabbi Yanai Saba, he came before Rabbi Yanai Saba. Omar Lehi said to him, Ilu Havi Yadat, de Poschen Pinkesachum Misham Shemin Ba'ovodach. If you would have known that when you make a neder, so in Shamayim they're going to open up your notebook and look into all of your deeds, Mina Darta, so would you have made such a neder? Omar Lehi said to him, Lo, I would not have made the neder Visharia, and he permitted it. And the Gemara continues, Amr Rabbi Abba, Rabbi Abba says, Micro, what is the Pasuk that indicates this idea? That in Shamayim they, they seek after the deeds of a person who makes Nedarim. Pasuk says in Mishle, Vachar Nedarim Levakar, which the Gemara is understanding to mean that because of the Nedarim, Levakar, there's like an investigation from Shamayim. And the Gemara continues, V'yafagav de Pasach Rabbi Yanai lay. Now even though Rabbi Yanai used this and he said that in Shamayim they're inspecting your deeds and he used that to create a Pesach and undo a Neder, Anon lo Paschinon lay. We don't use that to create a Pesach. We don't use that kind of an argument to the person Baha with that particular kind of argument. V'lo Paschinon Baha da Achronaisen. We also don't use the following Pesach. The Yomar Rabba Bar Barachan Omer Rabbi Yochanan because Rabba Bar Barachan said that Rabbi Yochanan said, My Pesach lay Rabbi Gamliel lo Husava. What did Rabbi Gamliel, what Pesach did he use for that particular elder, he used the pasuk in Mishlei Yishbota Kemad Kros Cherev Veloshan Chacham and Marpe. Pasuk says there there are those who speak and it's like swords, like the piercings of swords, and the language or the tongue of the Chacham and that heals. And he understand the pasuk and he understood the pasuk to mean Kalabota anybody who makes Nedarim Roy Lidogro Becherev. It is fit to pierce him with a sword. Ela Loshan Chacham and Marpe, except that the Loshan Chachamim, meaning the Chacham, are able to undo the Nedarim, so that heals. So he used that pasuk in order to undo, and so we don't use that argument, we don't use that kind of a Pesach to undo somebody's neder. So we also don't undo with the following Pesach, we don't tell the person. The Tanya, we learned in a bride, so Rabbi Nassim Omer, Rabbi Nassim says, Hanoder, if somebody makes a neder, ki'ilu bona bama, it's like building a bama, and the Mefarish says it's like building a bama la'avodas kochavim, v'hamekayimu, and then somebody who fulfills the neder, ki'ilu makriv all of carbon, it's as if he brought upon it a carbon, it's like he brought on the bama a carbon. And so therefore, again, you tell the person, had you known that, would you have made the neder? That's the kind of Pesach. And the Gemara says, Bereisha Paschinon, we, we will use the Reisha, meaning we're going to use the idea that if you make a neder, it's like building a bama, that will use to create a Pesach and undo. But Besefa, but to use the end, that somebody who's Mekaimo, it's like bringing a carbon on the bama. Abai Omer Paschinon, Abai says we could use that for a Pesach. Rav Omer Lo Paschinon. Rav says you cannot use that for a Pesach. Rav Kahana Masni Lo Lahashmaita Bahadin Lishna. Rav Kahana learned that sugya in the language like we just learned it above. But Rav Tavyume Masni Hachi, Rav Tavyume actually taught it as follows, slightly different. Besefa Lo Paschinon. With the end, we certainly do not do that as a Pesach. But when it comes to using the beginning, Hanoder Ki'ilu Bona Bama, so that Abai Amr Paschinon, Rav Amr Lo Paschinon. Abai says we can use that as a Pesach, and Rav says we cannot use that as a Pesach. Behilchas on the Halacha is Lo Paschinon, Lo Beresha, Velo Besefa, that we don't make a Pesach not from the beginning and not from the end. And the Gemara continues, Velo Paschinon, Bohanami, and we also don't use the following as a Pesach, the Shmuel of what Shmuel said. The Amar Shmuel, because Shmuel said, Afa Pisham Shemekaimo Nikra Rasha, even the one who is Mekaim the Neder is called a Rasha, Afa Pisham even one who is Mekayim the Neder, it's called a Russia. We don't use that for a Pesach as well. Amar Rabbi Avo, Rabbi Avo says, My, what's the Pesach that indicates that a Neder you're called a Russia even if you're Mekayim? Pesach says, sechda lindor lo It says, When you stop to make the Neder, so you won't have a sin. The Yolif Chadol and he learns out from the Vichy Sechda, it says Sechda somewhere else. Ksivachagi Sechda lindor, it says Sechda lindor over here. Ochsiv Hasam, and it says over there, in Eov Sham Rishon. Chadlu Rogas uses the word Chadlu like the word Sechdal and it talks about being a Russia. So again, you see that making a neder is called, the person is called a Russia.
And the Gemara continues, Amar Rav Yosef, Rav Yosef says, Afanon Namitani, and we've learned like this as well. It says in the Mishnah, Kenidre Kesherim Lo Amar Klum, Kenidre Rishoyim Nadar Benazir of a carbon of a shoe. It says that Kesherim, if you say like the Nadar of Kesherim, Kesherim don't make, good people don't make Nadarim. But it says Nidre Rishoyim, that already Rishoyim, they do make Nadarim. That's what it said in the Mishnah. And the Gemara continues, Amr Rav Shmuel Bar Nachmeni, Amr Rav Yonasan, Rav Shmuel Bar Nachmeni says that Rav Yonasan says, or some say that Rav Yochanan says, Kol HaKoes, anybody who's angry, Kol Mine Gehenim Sholten Bo. All kinds of Gehenim will rule over the person. Shanema, like the Pasuk says, Vasar Kas Mi Libcha Vahave Ro Mi Besarcha, it says you should remove the anger, and it says this idea of Ra, you remove the anger, you remove the Ra. What is Ra? Vein Ra, El Gehenim, Ra refers to Gehenim. Shanema, like the Pasuk says, Kol Poal Hashem Lamaneo Vagam Rasha Liyom Ra, talks about the day of Ra, that refers to the day of Gehenim. Below, not only that, but hemorrhoids are going to rule over the person. Shanemar, like the Pasuk says, nafesh. And the Gemara says, what is the Pasuk referring to? What is something that causes this, these problems with the eyes? And it, causes, and it causes disruptions with the soul. What that's referring to is that refers to hemorrhoids. And the Gemara continues, Ula Yisrael. When Ula was going up to Eretz Yisrael, it's Lavule train b'nei Chozoi Badei. So two people from Chozoi, they accompanied him. Kamchad Shachdei L'Chavri. One got up and Shechted his friend, killed his friend. Amar Lei Ula. So he said to Ula, Yoes Avdi, did I do the right thing? Amar Lei. So Ula was afraid of the person. And he said to him, In yes, you did the right thing. Upara Lei Beis Hashchiti. You should open up the area of the Shchiti, make him die a little bit quicker. So when Ula came before Rabbi Yochanan, Amar Lei said to him, Maybe I actually helped somebody who was doing an Avera. I encouraged this Avera. Amar Lei, so Rabbi Yochanan said to him, No, don't worry about it. Nafshecha Yitzalta, you saved your own life. But Katama Rabbi Yochanan, but Rabbi Yochanan was surprised. He said, Michli, let us see. Ksiv, the Pasuk says, It says you're going to have an angry heart. That's talking about when you're in Bavil, but you guys were traveling into Eretz Yisrael. So why, how could there have been a murder in Eretz Yisrael. Amar Lei, so he responded, he said to him, Ahu Shaita, at that moment, he said, we weren't yet in Eretz Yisrael, as we'll see in the next video, on Daf Chof Beis, Amud Beis.